25 to 35, 40, and they, they're happy with what they're doing. They've, they've chosen a path sometime in their lives, and they're walking down that path, that, that path but somewhere uh, there's a nagging feeling that probably this is not what I want to do all my life. Mm -hmm. And so for them, uh, there should be a clear-cut uh, thought process for them to, you know, um, help them to change tracks and change professions and go back to what your passion was and follow that and make that your profession. Okay. So what I thought I would do is uh, read the bullet points you brought along. We'll show the graphic to the audience and you can comment on the, on the bullet points. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is for following your passion. The first thing, it's a mysterious first one, the Wonder Years Dream. <laughs> Sounds like a good TV show, the Wonder Years the Dream. The Wonder Years Dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But before that, I would, I would just like to highlight okay. why anybody should make their yeah, passion why, why? their profession. That is something that I just heard you ask. Um, I, there's a beautiful saying from Mahatma Gandhi. He says, uh, what a person thinks and what he says and what he does if all these three things are in harmony, that person is the happiest on earth. So I thought... Say it again you, so it sinks in for people. So what a person thinks and what he says and what he does is in harmony. Mm -hmm. All these three things are in harmony. That person would be the happiest on earth. And I thought if you take that concept and apply it to this topic that we are talking about, mm -hmm. it fits in beautif beautifully. Um, if I'm passionate about something, if I love doing it, if I'm good at it, all these three things uh, are there, uh, I would put in my heart, my soul, my every, every cell of my body and all my energies, energies into it. And if all that energy is going into something, uh, the result is bound to be positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there lies success and there lies happiness. So that's the reason why people should, I think. Okay. So, so let's yeah, have one, day one, day years, one day's dream. Yeah. Um, I would highly recommend for people to go back to uh, thinking uh, when they were eight years old or ten years old and, and think what was their dream at that point in time. If you ask me, I had a million dreams. I had a dream every weekend. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but then you need to be good at it. To, you need to be very honest with yourself when you're thinking about this and to realize uh, uh, that when you're eight years old, you, it's, when you dream when you're eight years old, it's like looking at a mountain top and wanting to get there. Um, and if you've climbed an, any mountain, you would know that if you, when you walk towards the mountain, you start losing uh, the vision of the mountain top. You don't see the mountain top. Mm -hmm. You start looking at the trees and the bushes and the mm -hmm. rocks and all kinds of other things, but you don't. The mountain top is just a vision in your head. And if you retain that vision, very good for you. But many times people don't. Uh, there are many paths that they come across and, and they take a different path and there are many influences and that's what I think teenage does to you. Uh, right from 10 years old the world opens up and there are lots of influences, uh, parents telling you what to do and there are peer pressure and there's media and there are, uh, there's an IT wave coming in where people are lo making a lot of money and then mm -hmm. you think probably this is what I should be doing and then you have a bunch of friends who are doing all MBAs and they're appearing for exams and stuff. So. And then probably I should be doing that. So you forget your dream, forget what you wanted to do at that point. And if you have, um, then this is what happens <laughs> when you are like 35, 40. Uh, you, think, you, you find yourself successful, you've, you've, you've studied hard, you've invested a lot of money and everything. Um, you're successful, and, but still there is a nagging thought in your mind that probably this is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I was thinking that for some people it would happen it even would. a little later. A little late. Like and it's never too late. You know, late like in course. college, you had a dream, maybe oh, yeah. of I could I could study anything. Because yeah. I think when I was eight, I would have wanted to be the center fielder for the San Francisco Giants. Uh -huh. so I don't think that would have. But a little later, I knew I wanted to help people. But anyway, let's get on. The, the second thing is, no, it's not ridiculous. Is that the, is that about your dream? It's it's about a dream. It's what you want to be could be ridiculous, <laughs> but the whole concept of changing tracks any time in life is not ridiculous. And I think people should um, tell themselves that and convince themselves of this thought that this is not ridiculous because if, you, if they don't convince themselves, they'll never be able to convince their own people and least of all the spouse. That <laughs> it'll be very hard for the spouse to take it um, or anybody to take it who are close to him. Um, so yeah, it is not ridiculous. Uh, the, 
if anything, it's ridiculous that you're not doing what your passion is. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Um, how far away are you right now, you say? It's the third bullet point. So after you've convinced yourself, um, you need to instill, uh, you need to put in all kinds of doubts in your mind yourself. And actually it's like a reality check where uh, you need to question yourself. You need to know uh, if you're good at it. If you, if, where is it going to take mm -hmm. you? How are you placed financially at this point? Will it take you through uh, this whole process of changing your career? Uh, passion could be great. It could be an, uh, you know, a very transient thing as well. But then uh, you need to know where you are at that point. And it could be financial. It could be emotional. It could be you know, mental. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a reality check where, where a person should know this is what he wants to do. Probably this is the point where he needs to make a decision about changing tracks. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have some clients, I don't know if this is exact parallel, but I have some clients that refer to their board of directors or their mentors, right. people whose opinions they trust and they may go to them and say, be honest with me. Right. If I really have the passion, do you think I have the skill for this right. or whatever it is? Right. So right. Um, That honesty has to come through. You need to know that um, that you're good at it. You have the aptitude for it and you'll be able to follow through and be successful in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, then you say, what will it take to get there? Well, this is a decision-making point, the earlier one, and then after you actually decide, you, 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 you start planning for it. You need to know where you are financially placed and uh, you need to convince other people around you that this is something that is good for me and, you know, this is what I want to do. Uh, so, yeah, mapping out the route and just before taking, of course, the planning uh, mm -hmm. phase is uh, is very very important. I think this is what they want to do. Okay, and do you um, do you like the idea of mentors where people would give you input? Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Elders or wiser people. Oh yeah, definitely. Know. Take as much feedback as possible from people, but make your own decision according to your own. That's instinct. right. Yeah. Not necessarily what your parents want, right? <laughs> um, and you say the last one you say is don't look back. Don't look back. Uh, 